Hi guys, as you know, I'm no fan of Nigel Farage, but if he presents a good policy, that policy should be commended. So one of the things the new leader of the Reform UK party mentioned here was increasing the threshold for paying tax to £20,000, which could actually be a good idea. There are a lot of follow-up questions, of course. However, talking about tax isn't going to grab people's attention, so what else did he suggest? Well, he wants to get rid of diversity training, claiming that it will save money. Once again, he can promise things without any real detail. Let's then turn to some of the policies that reform is putting over. You took over the leadership rather dramatically this week, having said you wouldn't run, you are now running, but I think not everybody is familiar yep. yet with your policies. Now, in reform's contract with the people, you call for £50 billion worth of spending cuts. So which public services would you get rid of? Well, here's the point. The Bank of England is paying vast amounts of interest on their QE borrowing. Yes, I know it's very technical for a Sunday morning. I'm doing a press conference tomorrow in which I'll lay out how we can save 35 billion before we even start. I'll unveil all of this tomorrow, but yes, you're right. We want to raise the level at which people start paying tax to 20,000 pounds a year. Why? It'll take 7 million people out of the tax system, mass simplification, a huge incentive for those not in work to go to work, uh, and that's what I'm going to lay out tomorrow morning. But I think viewers would like to know this morning, your party's already saying you'll cut £50 billion of public spending, so which public services would you get rid of? Well, it's not about getting rid of public services, it's about making them more efficient. It's about the National Health Service not swallowing up huge amounts of money in diversity training and things like this. We want to live in a country where everybody is treated equally. And by the way, raising the tax threshold to £20,000 will be a lot of civil servants that we can get rid of. But even the highest figures for spending on diversity training, which you cite there, Conservative Way Forward, the group have looked at this, and they say the most that you could get back would be £427 million, which out of cuts of £50 yeah, we, billion, that's a drop in the ocean. Well, OK. All right, I'll go on. The inheritance tax threshold should be raised to £2 million. We will go on with other areas like that. Mass simplification of the tax system, which will bring us enormous savings. <sighs> OK, well, let's start with the inher inheritance tax threshold, increasing it to two million. W where is this money? So the money that's lost, where is it going to come from? <sighs> so he's, he's going to eliminate a lot of people out of inheritance tax. Then he's saying about the £20,000 threshold. This is actually a good idea, but of course this is going to result in a cost somewhere else. So where is that money going to be made up from? He says, well, we can get rid of civil servants. Okay, so w which civil servants does he want to get rid of? Well, it seems to be diversity training. Now, the NHS, in particular the NHS, diversity training is important. It improves the quality of care. If you have a diverse workforce, you're, they're able to provide better care to patients. Now, people like Farage and others see this as a cost, not as an actual public service. Once again, they look at public services like the NHS, water, uh, education, whatever, as a cost, and the costs need to be reduced, not the quality of service improved. Diversity training also improves efficiency within the NHS. It, it, there are also legal obligations on the NHS to provide diversity training and create a diverse workforce but also imagine why there is why there is diversity training in the first place you need to provide care for patients some patients will have different requirements be them religious be them cultural whatever and it's important that you have a workforce that understands that and is able to provide this is what it's about once again Farage and, uh, and others like him will say, it's a cost, we need to get rid of it, it's, it's pointless. Why are we spending all this money on diversity training? When diversity training, as I've said, is about providing a better service to citizens. That's what the NHS is there for. It's a national health service, it's to serve the public. Farage and others see it as something that needs to be gutted. And unfortunately, this message resonates with people because the, the media don't challenge him enough on this. He, they just say, oh, okay, it's going to save 400 million. What is the cost of, to the public, to society, of not providing a service that meets the standards or the requirements of the public? I, I don't even know how much that would cost.